Yeah, well, here's the deal. First of all, we just witnessed the FTW World Champion Brian Cage beat the number one wrestler in the world, Hangman Adam Page. That makes Team Taz number one. And Team Taz has some unfinished business. And that message that I sent to Christian Cage, I don't see. Oh, okay. So you're just going to bow up in here. Here's the deal, man. Last week, Powerhouse Hobbs, he beat your ass from pillar to post. And he made one mistake and you capitalized. Now, you're going to have to deal with somebody else in all Team right, Taz. You know what? Enough of the games, all right? At one point in time, Taz, you were one of the baddest dudes to ever step foot in that ring. You talked a big game, you backed it up. You beat guys down, you submitted them, and Taz, you made it look easy. Now, present day, you still talk a big game, but the backing up part, not so much. So what did you do? You, you surrounded yourself with the biggest and best prospects in AEW. And when they find that success that everybody knows they're going to find, you'll be right there. You'll be right there to bask in all those accolades like you did it yourself, just to feed your own damn ego. And now you see a guy like me, retired after seven years. I represent everything you wish you could do. You wish you could come back. You wish you could, and you didn't, but I did. And now you want to leech off me the same way you leech off Team Taz, but I will not. I will not allow that to happen. So you go ahead. You send Team Taz one by one if you have to, because Taz, I don't believe in win or lose. I believe in win or learn. And last week, Powerhouse Hobbs, he learned a lesson. And Ricky Starks, if he gets in the ring with me, he'll learn a lesson too. And it might, it might be a bitter pill for them to swallow, but someday they're gonna realize they're better off for it. And hopefully before it's too late, they realize they'd be a hell of a lot better off without you.